Okay, now we're in Bamberg, and there's uh, Marcus, and we're gonna go for the first meeting today in this church. What's the name of the church? Feg? F E G. It's F not a fig. It's <laughs> it's a free evangelical uh, church. Girke. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go there, and uh, I have 30 to 45 minutes <laughs> to speak, and uh, <laughs> and we're gonna then go to call through. Yeah. And that's uh, gonna be uh, punk rock church. Punk rock church. When you know David Pierce from Steiker International, that's one of the things he founded here in Germany. That's one of the churches we're gonna go to tonight. So, so that's uh, gonna be so a little rocking. bit, a little bit like Martin Luther. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm excited. Hey, Amen. Now we're here in uh, the church in uh, in Germany, and uh, this is uh, Benedict. He is. Uh, you're a uh, student. You're a student, but but you you uh, you uh, uh, related to the Pope? Uh, no, not really. Only my name. <laughs> Only your name. So uh, he quit his job. Yeah, he quit his job. I won't. But what 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 if he wants his job back? Then uh, the the Catholic Church is a problem. Oh, they ask me. I don't know. But... Yeah. I, I don't know if they would be happy to have me as a pope because it would change a whole lot of things. Yeah, you you would uh, make it a spirit-filled church. Uh, yeah, I, I would try, but yeah. I think it's, it's it's a little hard to uh, to change this whole big institution because it's yeah, like, it stuck in like uh, very solid structures. And so I'm, uh, I even even the pope is willing to change a lot of things. Yeah, it's a lot of tradition. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is my first church I'm in in Germany. Okay. And uh, am I allowed to use humor? Uh, you really should. Yeah. 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 Because uh, uh, like all other people, I'm not normal. <laughs> um, What's my, normal? My my opinion is uh, first of all, what is normal, and second of all, nobody is normal. No, we're all. At least uh, when you know him better, you know he's not normal. normal. Yeah. He seems to be normal. Right? Yeah, see, see, because uh, yeah, I, I like to. It's part of my ministry to get people laugh. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Because uh, it's just God had a good sense of humor when of he course. when he cre look at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at Locke. God created Locke too. Hi, good morning. <laughs> so, uh, but this is the first church I do uh, in Germany, and and it's a great honor to be in this country. I was here at a bike rally last summer, but that was not really like a church. And uh, uh, my personal opinion is that all evangelism should lead to a local church. I, and I'm going to take it further that all evangelism that doesn't lead to a church is nonsense. And those are not my words. Those are Reinhard Bonke's words. And uh, that's why it's good to work with people in this country that has connections to local churches, other Christians, home groups, because when people get saved, we can't leave them on the street. It, it would be very bad. It, it's like, uh, then we did a bad job. We need to take them further. And when somebody gets saved, that's when, that's when, that's when, that's when the story starts. That's when, the, you, if you lead them to the cross, then yeah. they have to, uh, like, it's like nurturing. It's that's like, when the uh, problem yeah. starts. And uh, do you know Keith Green? Keith Green, it's a, a musician, and he, he died in an accident, but he was a musician in, in the States. Uh -huh. And he had a whole uh, a whole for, for ministry for, for evangelism. Uh -huh. And he put uh, a lot of people, he, he true to Christ and, and uh, yeah, convinced them or just uh, touched them with, with, the, with the spirit. But a lot of them um, fell, fell apart because they didn't have a church and a community mm. to hold them. Yeah. And because a lot of them were drug addicts or like, Back in the it was in the 60s, 70s, so a lot of hippies going on, um, and and he uh, realized that we need to have like a like a church, like a community yeah. structure to to keep them going, to keep them at the cross and to further. Need to grow, and and also it's good that we can grow the roots first before we start to yeah fly. So uh, 
What's your problem? Because your English is way better than uh, most of the Germans on it so far. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I started, uh, first of all, I got a few international friends from America, from, from England and all over the world. Yeah. And I've studied like a uh, month abroad, um, almost in a year, in South Africa. Wow. Yeah, in Stellenbosch, um, so that people kept my English going. That's good. I, I love Germans that speak English because then I can conversate with them. Conservate, <laughs> conversate. <laughs> yes, I can speak to them. All right, but uh, it's nice to be in this church. Amen. Yeah, it's nice to have you here. Die göttlich verordnete Ruhepause. Heute ist Zeit, durchzuatmen, einmal im Alltagsleben stehen zu bleiben und sich neu auszurichten auf das, was wirklich wichtig ist. Heute ist Zeit zu feiern und die gute Gesellschaft zu genießen. Zeit für Familie, für, die, für den blutsverwandten Teil und den Geist verbunden. Heute ist Zeit, zu Gott zu kommen. Alles abzuwerfen, was uns beschwert, auf dem Weg zu ihm und einfach mal in seinen Armen zu ruhen. It's very nice to be here this morning. Es ist wunderschön hier zu sein heute Morgen. And uh, this is a big day for me. Es ist ein großer Tag für mich heute. It's the first church I visit in Germany. Es ist die erste Gemeinde, die ich in Deutschland besuche. So uh, I think we're gonna have a good time here. Ich denke, wir werden eine gute Zeit hier haben. But, uh, it's gonna be short. Aber es wird leider kurz sein. I'm only allowed to speak for 45 minutes. Ich darf nur 45 Minuten reden. And, uh, it's dangerous to give me a microphone. Es ist gefährlich, mir ein Mikrofon zu geben. And a chair. Und einen Stuhl. Because, uh, I can speak. Weil ich reden kann. The word of God says that the heart, the mouth speaks what the heart is filled with. Das Wort des Herrn sagt, der Mund spricht aus von dem, was dein Herz voll ist. And, uh, I had a life change six years ago, a radical life change. Mein Leben wurde vor sechs Jahren radikal verändert. And, uh, that's what I want to tell you about today. Und darüber möchte ich euch etwas erzählen heute Morgen. Uh, I want Markus to read uh, Psalms 40, verses 1 uh, to 3. Ich werde jetzt Psalm 40 vorlesen, Verse 1 bis 4 in Deutsch. Ich harre des Herrn und er neigt sich zu mir und hörte mein Schreien. Er zog mich aus der grausigen Grube, aus lauter Schmutz und Schlamm und stellte meinen Fuß auf einen Fels, dass ich sicher treten kann. Er hat mir ein neues Lied in meinen Mund gegeben, zu loben unseren Gott. Schmutz und Schleim? Ja, yeah. yeah. that's where I was. Genau da war ich, in diesem Schmutz, in dem Schleim. And uh, the Lord gave me a song. Der Herr hat mir ein Lied gegeben. And this song is called Thankful. Das Lied heißt Dankbar. Because that's what I am today. Because without Jesus I would be dead. Und das genau das bin ich heute, dankbar. Weil ohne Jesus wäre ich tot. So I'm going to start singing this song for you. Ich möchte euch das Lied Maybe you should translate the the chorus. I am thankful for every day. Ich bin dankbar für jeden Tag. Thankful for your love and grace. Dankbar für deine Liebe, für deine Gnade. Without you, I would be lost forever. Ohne dich wäre ich für immer verloren. And uh, it's the same for all of us. Und es ist dasselbe für uns alle. Without Jesus, we all would be lost forever. Only Jesus will be for ever forlorn. Yeah. Right. 
And today I know it was because Jesus had moved inside of me. Und heute weiß ich, weil Jesus in mich eingezogen ist. And we know that, that the peace that Jesus gives us goes all over all human understanding. Weil wir wissen, dass der Friede, den Jesus gibt, über alle menschlichen Verstand führt. And when Jesus moved inside of me, Und he also brought his peace with him. Und als Jesus bei mir eingezogen ist, hat er auch seinen Frieden mitgebracht. February 2007. Im Februar 2007 I ended up at the hospital. war ich wurde ins Krankenhaus eingeliefert. Uh, at that point I was all yellow. Und zu diesem Zeitpunkt war ich komplett gelb. Do we have a doctor here today? Ist irgendjemand der Doktor ist oder Krankenschwester? Yes, we have. My uh, Billy Rubin was uh, all, over 700. Oh. Also die, der gelbe Farbstoff im Blut war 700. Was bedeutet das? Naja, also seine ganzen Organe haben sich angefangen zu, äh, zu zersetzen, sozusagen aufgrund der Folge des Alkohols. Zersetzen? Ja. Okay. Was ist das? All your inner organs just uh, vanish because of the high level of that cells in your, in your body. Ja. Yeah. So they, they die. So, uh, the doctors, they told me I was gonna die. Die also, Ärzte erzählen ihm, er wird sterben. Medizinisch sagt man dazu Multiorganversagen, also das Versagen aller Organe. The shutdown of, of all organs. Yeah. So, uh, what would you have said to me? Would you have said that uh, I was going to die? Was würdest du zu mir sagen, dass ich sterben würde? Uh, because I Christ, I wouldn't say uh, that. Uh, Du würdest nicht sagen. Du würdest nicht sagen, wieso? Weil ich Christ bin. Weil du, okay. Because she's a Christian, she says you're not gonna die. Obviously, you see you. But wenn du jemanden hast, der mit solchen, mit solchen Symptomen bei dir im Bett, vor dir im Bett liegt, was würdest du dem sagen? So, wie sind seine Überlebenschancen? Rein natürlich sind sie schlecht. You have a bad chance of, of surviving. Yes. So, uh, I do think it's a miracle that I'm here. Denkst du, dass es ein Wunder ist, dass ich hier bin? Ja. <lacht> Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted the doctor to come up so you can know that uh, how bad it was. He started to speak. Und der Schatten hat dann angefangen zu reden. And he said, und dann hat er gesagt, when you get up from this bed, wenn du aus diesem Bett aufstehst, go out and tell everybody about me and about your life. Geh hinaus und erzähle jedem über mich und über dein Leben. Tell the young people about the dangers. Erzähl den jungen Leuten von der Gefahr. And help those who have the same problems as you have had. Und hilf denen, die dieselben Probleme hatten, wie du sie hattest. And he disappeared. Und dann ist er weg, verschwunden. Do you know who that was? Wisst ihr, wer das war? Christus. It was Jesus. Es war Jesus, Christus. I knew it was Jesus. Und ich wusste, dass es That Jesus moment, war. In dem Moment, something happened in my heart. Hat sich was in meinem Herzen verändert. First I had a broken heart. Zuerst hatte ich ein zerbrochenes Herz. Habe ich zu Jesus gesagt, Herr, ja, ich möchte nicht sterben. That stone heart had das stone heart had broken. Das steinerne Herz war zerbrochen. Now Jesus came. Und dann kam Jesus. Gave me a heart made of flesh and blood. Und hat mein Herz gegeben aus Fleisch und Blut. And 
and I got a fire. Und ich habe ein Feuer bekommen. I wanted to tell everybody about Jesus. Ich habe angefangen, den Wunsch in mir immer größer werden zu lassen, dass ich allen von Jesus erzählen möchte. I'm totally healed. Ich bin komplett geheilt. I'm free. Ich bin frei. It's nothing I can have done. Es ist nichts, was ich dazu tun kann. I was a bad boy. Ich war ein schlimmer Junge. But he heard my cry. Aber er hat meinen Rufen, mein Schreien gehört. Probably he knew I was enough crazy to go out and tell all the people about him. Vielleicht wusste er, ich bin verrückt genug, um dann rauszugehen und allen von diesem Jesus zu erzählen. I started going out. The first meeting I had was the same summer. Und ich bin dann rausgegangen. Das erste Treffen, das ich hatte, die erste Versammlung war in demselben Sommer. On the first meeting, three young boys got saved. Und drei junge Leute haben ihr Leben Jesus gegeben. I have been doing this for six years now this summer. Und im Sommer werden es sechs Jahre, in dem ich rumreise und Leuten von Jesus erzähle. And I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life. Und ich will es den Rest meines Lebens tun. Now we have been eating uh, Marcus chili. No, goulash. Oh, uh, it was goulash? Yeah, it was goulash. It was real meat in there. Yeah, it was really <laughs> good. And uh, I'm full and uh, very pleased. And uh, we had that first church, uh, church service today in Marcus Church. It's a good church. A lot of wonderful people, a lot of young people, older people. Uh, I believe it's a church where uh, everybody can come and be who they are. And that's what I like with that church. I uh, really, really like the church. So uh, I hope to visit them again in the future. And now we're gonna go to Karls Ruhe and uh, go to uh, that other punk church and see what's going on there. So here we go. If you're watching this, I'm thinking about you now when uh, we're driving through this town. It's a beautiful place. There's uh, looks like a lot of churches here. And uh, I wish the weather could be nicer, but uh, hope you get to visit this place one day. I'm sure they have good winners recently for you too. Take care. Finally, we meet live. Mm -hmm. And so you're now you're real friends, not only Facebook friends. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Different. Different, yeah. And uh, we're gonna have a meeting tonight. Yep. Can you give me 20 or 30 minutes? Uh, no, when the people leave, you should stop too. I should stop when the people leave. Well, when they fall down <laughs> out from the window. Yeah, and that, no, why not? And then we have resurrection of death. Oh, that's great. Then even more people come. Amen. So, uh, you know, there's two things which the old church draws draw people to or draw people to Jesus, driving out demons and healing the sick. Let's go for it. Yeah. They don't. Let's do that. We can't argue anybody in the kingdom. 
No. First, we're gonna find the demon. It might be hard in here. You smell him. Could be difficult. Yeah. Well, they can hide. They were sick. Yeah. Let's start with the second one. The yeah, second start one. with me. I'm sick in my head. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this stops immediately. But I don't want to be healed from that because then I could be something that people want to call normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what's normal? No, no, no. Normal. Is normal. normal. Is no, normal. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but so now we're in uh, Jesus Rocked mm -hmm. yeah. in Karlsruhe. Hey. Hey. Karlsruhe. Karlsruhe. So now you know that. Amen. Even when you're a little baby, auch wenn du ein kleines Kind bist, it might affect your life. Es kann sein, dass es dein Leben, because I believe you're already, you're already alive when you're in your mother's womb. Weil du kennst deine Mutter schon, wenn du in dem in dem Bauch deiner Mutter bist. I have four children myself. Ich habe selber vier Kinder, and uh, I know that when they're babies, they want to be close to their mother. Und da habe ich gesehen, dass sie klein sind, dass sie nah bei ihrer Mutter sein wollen. Because I believe when they were inside the mother, they start to know her presence, her smell and recognize her voice. Weil ich glaube, dass Baby sie die Mutter kennen, dass sie ihre Stimme kennen, dass sie ihren, ihren Geschmack kennen, wie sie atmet, wie sie einfach ist. And that's like a security for a baby to be close to. Und es ist so eine Art Sicherheit für ein Baby, klar, ganz nah bei seiner Mutter zu sein. That was taken away from me as a child. Das wurde mir als Kind, als Baby weggenommen. Zwölf Jahre angefangen, Alkohol zu trinken. I tried to hide that fear with alcohol. Ich habe versucht, diese Furcht zu verstecken mit Alkohol. And it worked as long as the alcohol was in my body. Und es hat funktioniert, solange der Alkohol in meinem Körper war. So, uh, that was uh, kind of the background why I started to drink, because I was stuck with fear. Und das ist so der Hintergrund, wieso ich angefangen habe zu trinken, weil ich halt voll Furcht war, voll Angst. And I didn't know who I was. Und weil ich auch nicht wusste, wer ich war. But today I know who I am. Aber heute weiß ich, wer ich bin. My name is Pontus. My name, my name is Pontus. Yeah. And I know my real parents today. Und heute kenne ich meine wirklichen Eltern. And I have four brothers that I didn't know. Und ich habe vier Brüder, von denen ich eigentlich nichts wusste. And two more sisters. Und auch noch zwei Schwestern. <lacht> yeah, one, one hopefully in heaven and uh, one in prison because uh, she's in for murder. Und uh, eine hoffentlich im Himmel und die andere leider im Gefängnis wegen versuchten Mord. And today I thank God for my mother who she it was hard for her to give me away. Und heute bin ich Gott dankbar für meine Mutter. Es war für sie schwierig, mich zur Adoption freizugeben. But she did it because she loved me. Aber sie hat es getan, weil sie mich geliebt hat. 